Welcome to Danielle's Backyard. Today I'm going to show you my fall winter garden. So to start this tour off, we're going to talk about my carrots. I have one, two, three, five beds that already have, no, six beds that already have carrots germinated and growing. And then I have three more that I just planted seeds in maybe last weekend. So we're still waiting for them to come up. We're supposed to be getting the rain very, very soon, which should help them come up. And I've been going through and weeding all my carrot beds because you don't want weeds by your carrots because they will probably split from the roots of the weeds. So make sure your weeds, your beds are weed free, which I need to work on this. And in this bed here, I have onion sets that my husband brought home. He brought me home two piles of onion sets. So I've got two beds of these onions. And then I got two beds of onions that I started from seed myself, which are sweet onions. I think these are red onions. I'm not entirely sure they look like the red onions. So now let's move on. Right here I have three beds full of collard greens. I need to come out here and pick some collard greens for supper. We gotta start getting on top of these, but these are Georgia Southern Creole collards. And I'm having aphid issues with them, which makes it a pain in the butt to clean for eating, but they are, most of the bigger leaves are covered in aphids. And then it looks like I have some worm pressure also. We have not had that many frosts, which kills off all these pests. Um, we've only had like maybe two really good frosts, and um, and it's not enough to kill off these bugs yet. So hopefully we get some frost dumps coming soon to knock these bugs out. Because it just makes cleaning these collars to eat a lot harder than it needs to be. So I'll probably pick up all these that are, have a lot of bugs on them and give them to the chickens, and then I'll pick the newer leaves, the younger leaves, that don't have bugs on them for eating this week. In this bed, I have French breakfast and cherry bell radishes. And I have a big bag of them already in the house that we've been eating on, and I will be coming out here and picking these to be eating on salad soon, too. In this bed, that bed, and this one, I have carrots all planted in the nose. They're waiting for those to come up, hopefully soon. All the way down this row, and one over here, I have five beds of broccoli packed full. I grow my broccoli very close together because I don't seem to have any issues with that. And they grow really big heads and I'm able to still pick off the little shoots from the side of them as the season goes on. And I have one bed that did not germinate very well. It's mostly sand at this point and it needs to be, I need to refresh that soil in that bed for sure. And I still got these collar, these um, mustard greens that I planted in these other beds. I need to cut down and turn into the soil and let them kind of break down to help the beds. But um, let's see. I'll show you my garlic next. So here we have two beds of garlic. It's just starting to rain, so I gotta finish up. So these are two beds of garlic that I planted in October. I had not fertilized them yet. I'm gonna wait till spring to do that. Right now, I'm just trying to let them be. And hopefully we'll get some good sized bulbs this year because we did not last year. We had a very bad garlic year and I really, really want a lot of garlic in my pantry again. And here behind me is the last of the peppers that I've in the garden. They've already died off from all the frost. These are Tabascos. We've learned that Tabascos are just too hot. Even fermenting them, which is supposed to like chill out the heat in the peppers, did not help at all. They were way too hot. So we're gonna stick with Cayennes. Cayennes make such a lovely sauce anyway, a hot sauce. And next year, that's all I'm going to be growing hot pepper wise and just cayennes in my garden. And then I'm definitely going to get bell peppers. We ate so many bell peppers from this garden this year. It was so nice being able to just come out here and pick some for chili and Creole anytime we wanted it. And this is the beds. Some of the onions that I started from seed. They're really tiny compared to those other ones back over here, which was the sets. But these were ones I started from seed. And I have another bed over there that I started from seed. And that is about it. I can show you my other carrots that I have growing. They're um, really sizing up nicely. Those are the Bolero so carrots. These are my carrots. They did not come up very well. I did not have time to come out here and hand water these like I usually do. When I sow carrot seeds, I usually out here every morning, morning and night, wetting them down to ensure that I get good germination because that's how they come up. They need to stay wet. I did not have time to do that. So I depended on sprinklers and the yard lawn beans blocked all the water, a lot of the water from coming over here. So I had very poor germination, which is why I went crazy sowing more seeds over there. But these are the boleros. They're coming up, they're growing nicely. So I got some nice big carrots already, which I just bought a five pound bag of carrots because I'm completely out of carrots. So after that five pound bag of carrots is up, I'm hoping I can come out here and start picking from my own carrots. And then we can eat off of these all winter long and into the spring, which I plan on sowing some more. I think I can grow some more carrots in spring into summer and it'd be just fine. And then I got shell and peas. There's some really tall ones back there. I've never seen peas get that tall. They're super tall. And I gotta come out here and pick another of these. I've 
planted these so heavily thinking that I was going to have plenty of peas. You know, to put a few, at least a few quarts of bags in the freezer, but it takes a lot of peas to get any for storing. So um, we've just been coming out here and picking just enough for a small pot for a meal in the afternoons. So um, that's about it. That's my garden this year. I'm really excited about the broccoli and the um, garlic. And hopefully, hopefully lots of carrots. So um, thank you for coming to Daniel's Backyard. Stay tuned for more food being grown.